Today, what we are going to focus on are the top two concerns for our consumers today. That is actually the environment and it's the health. And what we have been wanting to explore further is whether there is a correlation between the environment and the health, if the consumers see these linked to each other. I can say that historically, health and environmental issues have been seen as and also communicated as two totally different focus areas. But I can already now reveal that yes, the consumers see an increasingly trend that these ones are merging together. And that's actually what we're going to focus on today. But let me start by introducing myself. My name is Annika BM Gullstrand. I'm the Global Marketing Services Director for Tetra Pak. And today, I'm proud to be able to present to you the annual report that we have performed together with Ipsos that focuses on the consumer attitudes when it comes to environment and health. And also the opportunities that this actually poses to food and beverage brands and retailers. But I would like to start with this quite inspiring paradox, I think. What it says is that we need to save ourselves before we save the planet. But if we don't save the planet, we will actually die. So, quite an important challenge ahead of us, I think, to be healthier and to save the planet. What is happening to the world? So I think this is a clear sign of a changing world that we live in. And the consumers, where we have been doing some deep dives, they actually go back and say the same. Like you can see here, back then, we knew the rainy season was between September and December, but now it's unpredictable. And we also have to use air condition at home. A lot of thoughts around the climate. There is also one consumer saying, two of my children have health issues. Some rare allergies and some autism. And I think the way our food is manufactured now and the way that animals are fed and raised creates great toxic burden and also decreases nutrition. So also, as you mentioned, actually, there are some new diseases coming up, but also that the food is less nutritious than before. And the third example, which has here below, is some of the things that I thought were recyclable are no longer being picked up. Like the bag the newspaper comes in. I just feel awful throwing a plastic bag in the garbage, but I don't know what else to do. On top of this, we see these consumers to say there is no awareness of the importance of recycling here in Saudi Arabia. They need to promote it more. Another consumer says, ads that show brands promoting sustainable packaging encourages me to think of the topic. So here, there is a need for more information, a need for more education. What is the future change ambition for the consumers? And also to say, what are their main reasons to change? And here we see three different clusters of pot potential change. One will change for the environment and for the future. Another cluster changes for, the, for their own health, physical or mental. And the third one has financial and social changes as the ambition. And let us then look at what is it we want to change and why. Let's start in the top right hand corner here. Here, the consumers want to change for the environment and for the future. And what we clearly see, what we want to change is we want to recycle more, reduce the food waste, and buy and use more sustainable products. And why we want to do that? A lot for the future generation, for a better world, to have less negative impact on the environment, and also to improve animal welfare. If we go to this side here, where we're talking about change for physical and mental health, we see we want to exercise more, <coughs> eat more healthy, eat more plant-based food, and also eat more organic food. And why do we want that? Well, to feel better physically, to feel better mentally, but also, in general, just to feel better about myself. And in the bottom corner, the cluster that has financial and social changes as the ambition. Here, we want to eat more locally sourced food. And the reason for that is, of course, to support the local businesses and also to change the economy in the country. But if we zoom in on the deep focus areas today, which is health and environment, 
we see that there is one area which correlates very well together and it's actually up here. We want to buy more environmentally sound food and beverage products. This is what is shared in between the health and the environmental concerns. So that sounds very positive and there is a willingness to change. However, what we also see is that sustainable packaging in Saudi Arabia is not top of mind. We also see that sustainable packaging is not available everywhere. And also there is a feeling from the consumers that there is an absence of information both in online and offline media regarding this. Another perception from the consumers is that recyclable and biodegradable packs are expensive. And the final one is also that they feel that there's not so many alternatives out in the market. So what they think of when they buy products is they think product, then brand, and then it is the pack that they have, that they can get. So this is, has a lot of opportunities for companies coming ahead into information, to sharing, to create awareness, but also when it comes to product development going forward. If you start with the active ambassadors, now you know that they have a high engagement on all aspects. They want to drive change, they want to influence. So if we can give them facts, news, expertise, they will drive the message for us. They will be our influencers. If we look at the planet friends, they are very eager to make changes when it comes to the environment. But they want to hear and understand facts from scientists or from fact bases. So what we can do here is if we give them that, they will channel their viewpoints out then. When it comes to the health conscious, as you heard, they love the social media. They love the different forums. So they are prepared to try new things. So if we inspire them with new ways to be healthy, they will channel this out to their whole social media network. For the followers, they know and they feel a bit guilty, but they don't do. So here we need to help them. They need support. They also need to get some good help into how to easily do some changes. So here we need to nudge them a bit. The skeptics, as you know, they, they feel that it's a little bit fake and not so much that we should do about it. So the way to talk to them is actually through sources that they trust. It must be on their level and to people that they like, people that are like them. So that's the way to channel through them. And finally, the laggards. They lack knowledge. They want to have more knowledge. They need to know more. So if we can give them some more exposure to what this is all about, then these, we can change the behavior of this very big group. But I think what we see is the most successful brands going forward are actually those who have a clear purpose, but also those who make the most positive contribution to society beyond good products and services. But there is a trust gap today because only 10% of the consumers look for brands today when they look for advice or inspiration. So here we need to work on trust and building that confidence. I would like to thank you. And if you have had a flavor for this and you want to know even more, then I will actually ask you to go into tetrapack.com Download the report where you have much more to read about the convergence of health and environment. So thank you so much everyone.